Oh boy. I went to Dan and Laura's house one time and the bathroom looked like this. This ain't for me. How much money where? What's your pleasure? What are you gonna pay? Say it. How much, how much, how much money where? We'll be right over. Look at me, $25 more. I think that where? was a thousand. Oh what? no, I didn't say that right there, no. Oh, okay. The mask gonna get you in trouble. 20 going once, try to be 20. Now 30, now 40, what about 40, 40 Kaya, now 50, 50 bucks, what about 60, 60 bucks Kaya, 60, 70, 70, 70, 80, 80 bucks, what about 80? 80 bucks, 85, 90 bucks, 90 bucks, 90 both out, 90 bucks, is that you? Yeah. Now 100 bucks, 120, 130, 40, 130, 140, 50, 150 where? Shaking his head, no. 150 going once, 150 going twice, last is time to call, 150 bucks now. So that's your way, 140 big bucks. America! Can he do it, baby? Somebody's trash. Is another man's trick. But this one got the gold. I can feel it. Let's see what we got right here. You know you did good when you spent less than the number of the unit. <sighs> what we got here? Got a baseball glove. $10. Who got? Some clothes with tags on them. $10 box, man. <clears throat> Jackets, clothes, $10 suitcase. Or oh, this is one of these lawn chairs. You sit on the corner, drink your Budweiser, $5. Used clothes, still about a $20 container right here. All that little money adding up there, boy. Joe Montana, $30 jersey. Little printer. Hey. <laughs> we ain't hit some cash. Look at the quarters, man. Woo wee. Look at that, boy. Good $8 right here. What we got? Christmas straw. Look at that little third grade ass scissors. About $8 on him. What we got? Oh! M O N E Y, boy. This is crazy, man. I can't believe this. Two, three, four, 25, 26 big ones. Kenny didn't hit the jackpot. Look at the cold coin. Susie B. Anthony, that's $5. More quarters, boy. Another 350 $5. Triple money. <laughs> I got the jingle in my pocket. This money in my pocket. What? What's going on, bro? For real? Lucky $2. <laughs> Damn, America. I'm telling y'all. Get your ass out your seat and carry your ass to the nearest street and get a storage locker. You got to check all these envelopes, bro, because the f Look at all these quarters. Oh, cha-ching, I love this job. Yeah, you wash clothes for about two months. Look at Five dollars a dime. And guess what? Ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars. Damn! Another two dollars. Oh, 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 oh. My pants are falling off because I got so much money in my pocket. Oh, shit. look at this right here, America. Pickleball set. You ain't never heard of no damn on pickleball. There's a pain on somebody's ass with this shit. I never heard of this thing. I gotta get this checked out. It don't even look green, it's yellow. Should be called bananas. Oh no, the bride portion. This is the kind of stuff you don't keep in your house. This shit comes to life at night. And walk around in your living room while you sleeping and watching CNN by herself. She could go for $20. And I got gonna find you a nice home, girl. I will put on that bench 20 bucks. That's it, America. Don't ever underestimate a dusty old locker. You never know what kind of hidden jams or candy wrappers you might find. Clean about y'all on your boy. Yo, Steve. Hey, how you doing? I'm all right. How you doing, good, brother? Good. good to meet you. I'm meeting up with Steve, who was a professional pickleball player. Maybe he could tell me what's the deal with these hit pickles. Pickleball was created in 1965. There were some families that would get together every summer. So one summer, they took their badminton court, lowered the net, cut out some wooden paddles, took a plastic ball, and just started hitting the ball back and forth. One of those families had a dog named Pickles. The dog would chase the ball, take it, not bring it back, and they would say, well, that's Pickles' ball. Unfortunately, the name does not do the sport any justice. Woo-wee, look at this. Got a net, it's a little tangled. Maybe I could catch a profit with this. 
two official pickleballs. Yeah. Now these pickleballs, they look like wiffle balls, but they're not. They're actually uh, like a dense plastic that these are made out of. Now, these paddles here are made out of wood. And to be honest, you're not gonna see any of the professionals playing with wooden paddles. Which are it made out of? Mine's a professional grade paddle, and it's made out of graphite. This is a professional sport. It's one of the fastest growing sports in the country. For real? For real. How much this pickle set is worth this? And you're looking at about $40. That's it, $40? About $40. $40? I could get 20 cheeseburgers with this. Hold the pickle. Thank you, Costa Mesa! <laughs> I think this locker's gonna pay off big. I got a tingling feeling about it. Got a brand new little weed eater. That's a hundred bucks right there. Brand new cord, too. Ooh. Xbox? A beat up one. Probably 20 bucks right there, though. 75 bucks worth of clubs right there. That's a float tube, bro. Yeah, that float tube for fishing. That thing's worth 200 bucks. I'm sure we got another 50 bucks on the freezer and another 100 bucks on the washer. This is one of them sleeping cots. Yeah. That's an easy 50 bucks. We got some money here, Brando. Seven light bulbs. Look at that. The thing about these light bulbs is they are the garden variety. They're for growing green stuff. 50 bucks a piece? Oh, easy. HD TV. Oh, yeah. I'll get 300 bucks out of the TV, bro. That's a good one. You put a little tiny keg in there, and it serves up the beer. What do you think it's worth? There's about 100 bucks. But there's something right here. Look at this, dude. Oh, boy. This is a Japanese board game, Mario Brothers. Oh. 1986 Nintendo. That is cool. Well, wait a minute. We got all kinds of little collectible Marios and stuff. Look at this, dude. Let me see. This is gobs and gobs of the little Mario dudes. Look at that. Yeah, and you don't want to open these, these no. up because they're all taped. Look at, see, they're taped yeah. on the ends. It's good. Mint in the box. We need to get that checked out, I'll Dude, bet. this is big time. Boy, I came in quite a while ago with that Nintendo game, and the guy pretty much seems to know his stuff. My Nintendo connection, he's got a geek out when he sees this Mario Brothers game. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing? It's my son, Brandon. Brandon, Brandon this Hi. is Jason. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, sir. I recognize this. These are board games based off of the uh, Super Mario franchise. This particular board is Super Mario Brothers 2. It was the second game in the series. The players would build like an environment that they would play in the game. This is fantastic. I have seen one and three, but not two. The one you have right here is, in my opinion, one of the rarest. Wow, so I have a rare number two. It's just absolutely amazing. What do you got in the case? Uh, well, first I want to point out that is an old vinyl Nintendo case. Yeah, look at that, Nintendo. I like what's in here. These are fantastic. God, you got a ton of them. Well, this one looks open. Let me see what's in here. Right? Oh, there you go. These are little dioramas. It looks like you have Luigi in there. A small Luigi, yeah. And behind him looks to be, is that a mushroom man, a toadstool? Looks like Mario. No, it's a toadstool. Yeah. I don't have the foggiest ass clue to what you guys are even talking what? about. You need to play video games with your kid. Yeah, that's not going to happen. You know, the bottom line for me is, what's all this worth, Jason? Um, I know that you're looking at a, a sizable chunk. I think what you got here, you're looking at 700 here, easily, today. 1,000 here. But, but... Nice. Thank you, Mario and Linguini. So while the other guys are at another auction, Jay and I sneak back to the unit that we bought and start uncovering stuff. During the auction, Jay used these night vision goggles, and he swore that he saw something shiny in the back of the unit. So we took a gamble, and uh, we laid out $850, and uh, we got the unit. I don't know, man. Grab this stuff off it. I'll tell you what. Whoa. What is this? It's a BMW Isetta. Really? Yeah, in really awful shape, but nonetheless, this, this car is 50, 60 years old. At first, I thought we had like a large aquarium on our hands, but it, we find this, this <laughs> I said it. Rarely am I speechless. You know, you, you get in through the front, I think. Is I mean, this the door? Hang on, jump in. Whoa, check it out. Check this out. You really did well. 
I don't know what this is worth in its present condition because it obviously needs a major, major restoration. I've got a good friend of mine that's an expert in these micro cars, and I'll take it to him, and uh, he'll be able to tell me what it's worth in a heartbeat. Let's go. All right. The other guys thought this unit was just boxes. Guess who had the last laugh on this one? Good job. All right. We're now going to take the car over to the Peterson Auto Museum and speak with a director who's a friend of mine, Dick Messer, and find out what it's worth. Well, the Peterson Museum is one of the preeminent car museums in the country. They've got like a collection of over 350 automobiles. And the great thing is, it turns out the Peterson Museum has a restored Isetta of its own. So here it is, fancy two-tone paint job, which a lot of them were, uh, were two-toned. Were they? Uh-huh. This is a uh, mid-1950s car. Uh, they're, they're about, microcar-wise, there's about 100 manufacturers. This is the unique feature of the car, is the front opens up and uh, the steering wheel comes out and you get in that way. I see. Now what happens though, if you have a front end collision in this automobile, you can't get out, right? So now you got your sunroof. And the misunderstanding most people have about these cars is, oh, this one's got a sunroof. That's a fancy, you know, little aftermarket thing. No, that was the escape hatch. So if you had a front end collision, you just opened the top up and you crawled out. Yeah. I don't mind the history lesson that Jake's giving me on Isetas, but what I really need to know is how much is the one that Jay and myself brought. In the overall scheme of things, the, the value runs anywhere from thirty-five, forty thousand dollars up to $60,000 really? at auction. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you, what we uncovered yesterday is uh, I thought you could give us an idea of how much it would cost to get it to look like this. Sure. I'm afraid of what you're going to tell me no, now. Let's, let's go do that. All right. Dick's probably going to laugh us out of here when he sees this pile of that we brought over. Dick, this is it. Uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, ridden hard and put away wet. This thing's had some miles put on it. Yeah, I know the car's not in great condition, but the fact that these cars are very rare, that's got to mean something. I'm almost afraid to ask you what it would cost to sort of make this one look like the one we just visited. You know, it's uh, the car. The car needs a lot of work. I mean, I, I wouldn't personally. I wouldn't undertake a, a restoration of this automobile. At this point, I'm starting to think to myself, how much is it going to take to get this I set it to a junkyard and get it crushed? What is this car worth as it is? I, I'd give him, I'd give him three or four grand for it. Oh, yeah. well, that's not too bad. I mean, uh, we paid eight hundred bucks. Eight hundred bucks for this. Oh, yeah, that's, we that, paid no, eight hundred bucks. That's, that's a heck of a buy. Absolutely. All right. Dick thought we paid a lot of money for this thing, but when I told him we only paid eight hundred and fifty bucks, his whole mood right, well, changed. Listen, Thank you so much. Yeah, it's always great. Even if we don't do a full restoration on this car, it's still worth three times what we paid for it, and that was a hell of a day. All right, who's feeling? Plastic bowling ball dressers. Wow. The Odo's hats, I wish they weren't clip-ons. Hey, shoes are worth a lot of money if you get the right ones. I know shoes. Oh, yeah, well, I can tell you know shoes. Jumpman logo, Jordan logo back there, number 23 up there. All the boxes have Jordans on them. If the trunk is full of Jordans, then it can be a couple thousand dollars. So. All right, don't act so interested. OK, I don't know. All right, and if you're ready to go, I'm ready to go. And here we go. How much money? What's your pleasure? What are you going to pay, say? And how much money where? Look at me, 35 in the office. Yeah! 40, 40, sir. 45, yeah. $50 square. Oh, wow, I'm scaring people. I got 50 bucks here. Yeah! 60 bucks now. Turn that volume bucks. down. 60. 70, ma'am. 70 bucks, yes. 70 bucks, 75. Yeah! 75. Woo! 95. With 1, 105. 105. 105 is a cheap. Yeah! 105 and 110. Wait, blowing her eardrum out. 115. 115 there. 120 there. 125. 125. 125. 125. 130. 130, ma'am. 130. 130. 130. 135, 130, 135, 135, 140, yeah. ma'am. 140, 140 going once, 140 going twice. Last and final call, 140 bucks now. So let your way, $135. Renee. Woo! 135, lock it up. Yeah! That's how you want a locker. Well, let's see if the Jordans are in there. Hey, if they are, you made some money. 50 50 shot. You know what they say. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. I want to see if the Jordan. Oh, Vans, not in there? That's not good. That's not good. All right, let's do this. Oh. 
I told you not to buy this locker. <sighs> okay, rug. 10 bucks in a rug. The hats are good. 40 bucks in hats. Bowling ball. 10 bucks in the bowling ball. This one's nice. 40 bucks. And that's damage. That's 20 bucks. The pillows are five bucks a piece. You know what? I've been killing it at auctions until I took you, just saying. Oh, these are nice. Let's see what this is in here. This is more cool. Ooh, look at how pretty the blue is. All right, mate, look. This unit is terrible, but in reality, we got those three things. We can have somebody look at it. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe. This sums it all up. He looks, he shoots, and he misses. I'm done with this unit. Hi, Phil. We spoke on the phone. Oh, hey. Hi. We've taken our items to Phil Fabin at King Richard's Antiques. Let's hope we don't end up royally screwed. I know a lot about a lot of different antiques, but this is one of my weaknesses. And I know that they can be literally four bucks or 400 bucks, depending. Yeah. These are what we call trinket boxes. Trinket boxes have been around, you know, since Egyptian civilization. Women have always used them to put their jewelry and whatever we don't want to lose, you know, things that are important to us. Now, this is what we call bohemian glass. In the area that's now the Czech Republic, like Prague, up to Vienna, that was the area known as Bohemia back in the 19th century. Oh, it's that old. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's an antique, for sure. So this little bronze piece is also a trinket box. About the same time period, the same area. Art Nouveau is the style here with the organic flower shapes. Now, I'm sure we've all heard of the term cloisonné. Yeah. I OK, well, cloisonné is a process where you start with a metal base and you have little wires that you hand solder to the piece. This would be about the same time period, 1880s or so, 1890s. Uh, there's a lot missing from here as far as the enamel goes. So it's not as spectacular as it could have been. But it's still, it's got a great patina. That came out of storage and you're sniffing it that hard? That's gross. I licked stuff out of storage before. And you kissed me? Ew. I was going to say, you're the one who kisses him. Yeah. I should think twice about that. Sometimes you just have to evaluate what you have. So this is actually Thai Ben Jerong porcelain. Ben Jerong is a type of porcelain from Thailand that is done for the royals. Now, Ben Jerong literally means five colors. And there are five colors here. You've got your pink and green and red and yellow and blue. That's five. But it's always applied with gold gilt, like you see here. And one of the things that tips me off that this is a Ben Jerong piece is the top here. This little finial is something that they always put on Ben Jerong pieces. So how much would you say it is for the whole lot? Well, uh, I'd say 600 bucks. That's awesome. That's really nice profits. So 600 in trade, right? <laughs> Let us do some shopping right now. In trade? Uh-oh. This is going to get expensive. For me, maybe. <laughs>